everyone's friend Whichever world I go, I just blend All languages I speak, no doubt I'm so unique I listen to their stories, I share some of mine And when I gain some knowledge, my antenna shines <laughs> I am an alien, I'm everyone's friend The Cage Bird and the Bat Gugu was passing by a village when it heard a parrot continuously say, Precautions are useless after the crisis. Gugu got very curious to know what the parrot was referring to and went close to inquire what that meant. The parrot went on to say how it sang very well was confined in a cage which hung outside the window of a house. There was a bat also which lived in the same house. One night, when everyone was sleeping, the bat heard someone singing sweetly. It felt that it was a very sweet voice and went out to see who was singing so well. Even as he wondered where that voice was coming from, he spotted the parrot singing inside the cage. He was pleasantly surprised to know that it was the parrot who was singing so melodiously. It flew closer to the cage and told the parrot that it had a very sweet voice and it sang really well. The parrot was very happy to hear that. Then the bat said that it would get a fruit as a present for singing so well and went its way. It came back the next morning with a fruit in its mouth for the parrot. The parrot thanked the bat for the gift. Night came and again the parrot started to sing. Again, here comes a sweet melody from my sweet friend, thought the bat. It went up to the parrot and said, Hi sweetie, you have started to sing again. I love your singing, but why don't you sing in the morning? To this, the parrot replied that it does not like to sing in the morning. The bat was surprised to hear that and wanted to know the reason behind it. So it asked the parrot as to why it does not sing in the morning. The parrot said that it was a big story. The bat got more curious and wanted to know the reason and asked the parrot to narrate it. The parrot narrated how one day when she was sitting on a tree in the woods and singing to herself, a hunter had heard it and caught it. She recollected how she was thoroughly involved in singing that she had forgotten her surroundings and did not notice the hunter aiming towards her. She told the bat how from there the hunter had sold it to the man who now owned her and had put her in a cage. The bat laughed at this and told the parrot that it no longer makes a difference as it was already caged. That is when the parrot also realised it and decided to sing in mourning too from the next day. Gugu understood why the parrot had enough reason to be saying what it was.